Greetings. Uh, with all this wind, apparently my internet went out for a second, so I was able to reboot it, but it took a few minutes, so thank you for sticking around. Uh, yes, and then I sent a, a, a post, but of course it didn't go through until the internet just came on, so thank you, Pat, for helping out. Uh, Compline begins on page 127 in the Book of Common Prayer. Let's just take a moment, shall we, before we begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me in saying together Psalm 91, followed by the Gloria. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High abides under the shadow of the Almighty. He shall say to the Lord, You are my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. He shall deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his pinions and you shall find refuge under his wings. His faithfulness shall be a shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the plague that stalks you in the darkness, nor of the sickness that lays waste at midday. A thousand shall fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold, to see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your habitation, there shall no evil happen to you. Neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and adder. You shall trample the young lion and the serpent under your feet. Because he is bound to me in love, therefore will I deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I am with him in trouble. I will rescue him and bring him to honor. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Jeremiah. 
Lord, you are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord our God. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. I now invite you into a time of prayer, of intercession and thanksgiving, either silently or please share in the comment section so we can join you in your prayer. Thank you, God, for the rain that waters and feeds the earth. We ask your protection um, with the weather, with so much rain expected and so much wind expected uh, that affects many people, especially those near the water, which is pretty much everybody praying here with us tonight. Um, so we ask that you rain on us your mercy and your grace, your peace and your perfect love. May we know and experience being held in the palm of your hands, loving us beyond measure, comforting us, healing us, blessing us in all things. We ask that you make your presence known to those who are alone, those who are in hospitals and long-term care facilities and in their homes alone, feeling lonely and maybe even abandoned. Make yourself known to them in a tangible way. May their guardian angels be ever present, comforting and protecting them.
We ask your protection on all those who serve through their jobs that expose them to COVID-19. For doctors and nurses and paramedics and pharmacists and all people who work in the hospital, transportation people and um, people working in the kitchen, preparing the food and distributing the food to the folks in a hospital and in long-term care facilities. For those in stores, stocking food and supplies, cashiers, managers, for delivery people, for postal workers, and for the many other places that I have not mentioned. God, you know who they are, and we ask your protection on them, especially Rachel, Ann, Michelle, Tom, Mark, Dan, Pam, Don, David, Mike, Angela, Kyleen, and Sarah. We ask your healing on those who have COVID-19, Gwen, Jason, Rory, and Wesley, Rebecca, Barb, Baby Meadow, Don, and Jerry. And we give you great thanks for Tisha's being COVID free along with John, Colleen, Todd, and Barb. Help us, God, to have the protection that we need when we go out into public, for masks to be worn properly over the nose and covering the nose and the mouth well, for gloves and for washing hands and sanitizing and hand sanitizing. We pray abundant resources of protective, um, personal protective equipment for those on the front lines needing them. We pray for all those who are researching and in trials and um, doing their best to find solutions to this virus that we may be able to um, be together again without fear, fear of catching this um, contagious disease, uh, virus. We pray for wisdom and discernment for all of our leaders to make good and right and wise decisions for the best of all people. We pray for those out of work, and we pray for our government to continue to provide financial means necessary so that we can all make it through this in a good way. We thank you, God, that you are in everything. We thank you that you are in the health and you are in the illness. You are in the joy and you are in the fear and the anger and the frustration. We thank you that in everything you are present. And in you, all is well, and all shall be well, 
and all manner of things shall be well. For these and all the prayers that are in our hearts, in our minds, those things that we can articulate and those things that we're not even yet aware of. And we know, Holy Spirit, you are already answering them on our behalf. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and Merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen.